What's up guys, South Asher here. Today we are going to be reviewing 2020. Yes, I know, it seems quite weird to be reviewing a year. However, I just thought this was necessary as a lot of things have happened in the past year. I think you all know that. So yeah, without anything else said, let's get straight into the review. Let's start off with my 2020. So to be honest, it was hard and it was quite stressful. I was stuck at home most of the time because as you guys know, coronavirus happened and everything. And I live in the United Kingdom, which meant Boris Johnson gave us lockdown. We were stuck at home for a couple of months, which meant I was bored and I had nothing to do. But I did overcome the boredom with a couple of things. For example, improving my YouTube channel a lot. I think I uploaded about 80 to 90 videos and if you look back at my old videos, I have improved quite a lot. We got like 800 subscribers in 2020 as well. Thank you for all of you subscribing. I'm really thankful for you guys to be here and subscribe to the channel. I also met some amazing people during the pandemic. To name one of them, I would say Johannes. We made an amazing talking tech video that will be linked in the description. Go and check it out. So yeah, shout out to Johannes. And I've met a lot of other amazing people as well. You guys know who you are. And yeah, I also had the time to revise a lot just because you have to revise it. I don't want to forget everything because I want to get good grades. However, at the same time of all of this happening, it was quite stressful, to be honest. A lot of things were happening and with the pandemic, pandemic on top of that, it just led to a lot of stress. However, I had amazing supporters with me. I had amazing people around me. And yes, I had excellent support from some amazing people. You know who you are. Okay, let's see some of the upsides of 2020. I'm going to read the notes that I have here, some of the upside. Apple's M1 chips are great from a tech standpoint. The next gen consoles were released, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. I think you all know what that is. And to be honest, um, not a lot of good things have happened in 2020. If I have missed something out, make sure to leave it in the comment section. While you're down there, maybe leave a subscribe and a like. The downsides of 2020, of course, we had COVID-19. A lot of important people died, for example, Chadwick Boseman, Kobe Bryant, Pop Smoke, and more. Those are just some of them, but yes, a lot of people did sadly pass away. Rest in peace. Australia wildfires. There was a lot of fire at the start of the year, which led to a lot of animals dying, but thankfully it has died down now. And Australia, yes, we have not forgot about the wildfires. Make sure to leave it in the comments. What was your worst part of 2020? What was your best part of 2020? It's not all about the negatives. Okay, so I am a tech reviewer, so we have to talk about this. The tech standpoint of 2020. In terms of tech, 2020 has actually been a really, really good year. For me in specific, the Apple M1 chips, the in specific, the one that I have in my MacBook Pro. The M1 chips have been absolutely amazing. I have made a review on this and the Mac mini review is coming soon, don't worry. But make sure to check those out as well. From Apple, M1 has been amazing. Also the new iPhone 12 Pro Max with the slightly new camera system. That's also really, really good. And in terms of Samsung, we had the Galaxy Z Fold 2, which is just a really refined version of the Galaxy Fold and is definitely pointing folding phones in the right direction. So yeah, that was the 2020 review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave in the comments what you guys think of 2020. Be your own reviewer. Review your time in 2020, what you can improve on, what you could have done, and what you did well this year. So yeah, 2020 review, that's been it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. 2020 in terms of YouTube has been amazing. Once again, I have grown a lot and 1K subs is very, very close. Thank you guys for watching once again. Yeah, Saf Ashraf. Peace.